Yes, I am. First and ever, only female. All right, folks, let's come back to order here. We're down to two docketed items, but uh, we want to try to get through this before dinner time. Absolutely. So uh, uh, I'll ask Ms. Fox again to read our next docketed item, please. Docket PZ 17-014. Application has been filed by Daniel Findley for approval of a minor subdivision plat on approximately 825 acres. The property is located in the 5100 block of Findley Road, LaGrange, the zoning is AG1 Agricultural, Residential, and CO1 Conservation Residential. All right, Ms. Alvey, I believe you're introducing the docket. Absolutely. Uh, again, this is a request for a minor plat waiver um, for a property that is owned by the Finley family, located at the 5100 block of Finley Road in LaGrange. Um, the total site size is 825 acres. Um, the actual lot that went, that is requested to be created, I think, is about 3.4, but we'll get to that. So outlined in red is the entire 825 acres. You'll see it, it abuts Finley Road, Bennett Lane, and North Highway 393. But circled there in green, that is the area that we are going to drill down here in just a second. According to the definition section of 2.2 uh, of the subdivision regs, a minor subdivision uh, is a subdivision of land into not more than three lots within five year time period and not involving a new public street or private road. The definition of a major subdivision is a subdivision of land into four or more lots or any subdivision involving a new public street or private road. Also, any division of land beyond three lots within a five year time period from a parent track or track divided therefrom. So basically what it, the rule is, is that it's three and five. You have a parent track, you can do two sell-offs, which means you basically go from having one track to three tracks. So you can have two sell-offs every five years. Um, so there were two prior sell-offs that have occurred in the past five years, one in 2016 and one in, in 2017. The applicant is proposing to create a 3.709 acre track from the original farm tract of 825 acres, therefore requiring a waiver of section 2.2 of the subdivision regulations. Um, history, on October 18, 2016, a minor subdivision plat to create a two acre tract at the corner of Bennett Lane and Finley Road was approved. So this is a zoomed in version, you'll see highlighted there in blue. That is a tract that was created um, October 18, 2016. That is a two acre tract. Um, then on February 9th of 2017, a minor subdivision plat to create a two acre track on Bennett Lane was approved. So the lot adjacent to the prior one, highlighted there in purple, that was the lot that was created in February of 2017. Next door, going, we'll say west, um, is the proposed track. That is the proposed 3.7 acre track that would close up that line along there on Bennett Lane. Um, this is looking into the proposed 3.7 acre track from um, Bennett Lane. Uh, this is the adjoining property owners. This is basically across the street, um, just to give you an idea of what's, what is located there. Uh, this is the west adjoining property owner. Um, that already has a house built on it at 5200 Bennett Lane. This is the east adjoining property. This is the lot that was um, divided in February. This is 4990 Bennett Lane. And then this is the other east adjoining property owner that was um, done in October. This is the house that's currently on under construction at the corner of Finley and Bennett Lane. Um, this is the uh, plat that was submitted by the applicant to create the 3.709 uh, acre tract. Um, if it is approved, it will be sent out to agencies for review and comments as, it, uh, as any other minor plat would be. So in summary, the applicant is requesting a waiver of section 2.2 of the subdivision regulations regarding minor subdivisions to allow the three divisions uh, of the three divisions of five, within five years. That is all that I have. All right, Ms. Abby, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, commissioners, questions for staff? Okay, seeing no questions, uh, we'll now move into the presentation by the applicant or representatives and others in support of the application. 
Mr. Finley. Hello. Uh, if you would just Finley, name and address for the record. Yep. 1100 Finley Road. Um, just a brief history. Can you? Is, have, is there? A, I'm not technological. Is there a? Just draw it with your finger. You can use your finger. Yeah. Just Let me just. Bottom corner. Bottom corner undo, undoes yeah. it. Yeah. Let's just check that. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, I, I was uh, since I was going to be here today on Ridge Partners case, I decided to file this request for a waiver to kill. You know, two birds one stone. No point in coming back on a later date. Um, a brief history of this particular. Area. I actually got phone calls from multiple people. They. They thought that we were requesting an 825-acre subdivision and uh, a minor 825-acre subdivision, so I had to explain that to them. Um, and I assured them, no, it's just it's a 3.7-acre lot that we're requesting, and, and actually the neighbor that called is right, right here. Um, just a very brief history. Um, this lot right here is 3.8 acres. We sold that in 2005 via minor plat to a, a, a lady that works in the county attorney's office, Julie Petrosky. That was the first minor plat we ever did on our farm. Um, after that, in 2006, we sold this the lot right here. That's a two-acre lot. Um, it was also sold to a lady uh, who, at the time, worked in the county attorney's office. You can see there is no home built on that yet. Um, she did pass away a few years later, and we, uh, my mom, actually bought that lot back. Uh, from her family because they were not going to build there and it's later uh, changed hands a couple of times uh, the individual Matt Jacobson I believe his first name is Matt Mr. Jacobson purchased it uh, just earlier this year and we'll be putting a, a, a home on that so uh, uh, it'll be a all brick home uh, walkout ranch and he actually emailed me regarding this and, and is in agreement with what we're proposing today so those are the only two minor plats that were done um, one in 2005 and one in 2006 no more um, over the years. Now, in 2016, an individual called. He had spoken with the, the Pattersons who live in the, the back area there, and he, um, he, he knocked on the door and asked if uh, any land was uh, being sold. He talked to the Pattersons. The Pattersons said, well, maybe the Finleys uh, have some land for you. So when I looked at the, at the farm, we had this triangular sized lot here in no man's land where I knew a home was going to be built on it. This had already been built. The only area that we were willing to look at was this particular area. Right over here along that line, there's a tree line. That's the north uh, fork of Cedar Creek. It, um, on the northern side, of, obviously, it's Bennett Lane. We used to run horses back there in that area. Um, we moved those horses in 2011 and don't have them there anymore. And so the area really was not being farmed by uh, my family. It was just growing up wildflowers. So we decided, you know, this individual knocked on the door. He wanted to buy two acres. I said, well, we'll sell you that lot right there. So we did it by minor plat, which left this area here um, that hadn't been, uh, that was just sitting in no man's land. Can't be farmed because we have two residences that are, that are going to be on the side. We have a creek on the south and the road on the north. Uh, Tom Stewart approached me uh, earlier this year. He's actually here today and uh, we'll talk in favor of this uh, request for the waiver. And he wanted to um, purchase a couple of acres. He, he knows my uncle and decided that he wanted to buy a couple of acres of land. I showed him the only area that we were really interested in uh, at that point in time because this large field we are uh, using that for agricultural purposes is this area right here. Well, he did. I told him, I said, well, I've got 5.7 acres would you like to buy all 5.7? Because I knew I only had one minor plat left. Um, he said, no, he didn't want to cut that much grass. So we, uh, we sold him two acres right here, which left this 3.7 acre tract in green, which ironically is basically the exact same size as the lot we sold to Julie back in 2005. That lot was 3.8 acres. So I thought, well, I could do one of, two, one of three things. I could file and ask for a waiver now to see if you guys would agree that that lot could be sold. I've obviously done my, my two minor plats within five years. I would need a waiver to do a third. Hypothetically, if I'd filed this in 2011, I, I could have done this without a waiver because we waited 10 years before doing anything back there. This land over here was all div uh, divided a few years ago, um, and is, this is really the only area along uh, Bennett Lane that uh, doesn't have anything on it yet. So the other option was I was going to wait um, five years and, uh, and, and do it then by just minor plat because I could do two more. But I really, in talking to everybody here, we really just want to have one house back here. If I waited five years, I would probably end up dividing it in two just because monetarily it would make more sense. 
but uh, then you have two homes here. We really like just have one because it fits in with the framework of, of um, the, the, the size of the lot next door. Uh, Tom Stewart sold him two acres, and I said, I'll give you, a, he wanted a, um, a right of refusal on the additional 3.7 acre lot. I said, uh, because he wants to, to have a say over who, uh, who his neighbor would be, I said, sure, um, why not? And so I offered him that right of refusal, and he's here today to talk about what he would like to do. If this waiver is granted, uh, the home that A, he's building right here um, on that purple lot, it's currently being built. The home right here is being built. Mr. Jacobson's going to build later on this year. So there are three homes that, that were going up this year. Uh, Mr. Uh, Stewart has a proposal where he would like to use this, the, the, uh, the 3.7 acre lot. We would ultimately uh, sell it to him and he would build a home, uh, all brick ranch home that, uh, that um, he could sell. And ultimately all of the homes then would be the same age, same character and look very nice on Bennett Lane and it would close out our holdings along Bennett Lane. Our farm does start again over here at the end of Bennett Lane. Um, if you have any questions for me, um, please do so. I, I also want to indicate in my explanation that I wrote to, to you all that the, um, the tract of land, is, as far as the explanation or the justification for why this waiver should be granted, I said that the tract of land is no longer utilized for agricultural purposes and based upon the uh, topographic considerations or conditions, the best use for this tract of land is a single family residence. Two cellars along Bennett Lane have been completed by the owner within the last 12 months. Residential dwellings are currently under construction. And for the purpose of ensuring uniform construction, it would be preferable to divide this tract of land at the present time, which uh, thus requires the waiver that I'm requesting. Thank you. Okay. All right. Say, so, uh, Mr. Stewart uh, would like to speak in support of this application. <clears throat> Ms. Fox, to swear you in and get name and address here. Do you sort of tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Come give us your name and address, please. I'm Stuart, 420 Kentucky Street, LaGrange. All righty, go ahead. I'm here in support of the uh, sell-off of this particular 3.709 acres. And as Dan stated, I'm the next-door neighbor in the process right now. At the framing stage of the two acres beside this track we're speaking of, and <clears throat> to keep the home the same age, if it's possible, and not to have the Finleys divide that later on, it could be divided into, and two houses could be there. So at this point, I approached Dan, <laughs> yes, I have a contract with a first right of refusal, and uh, I'm the owner operator of Vance Construction, been building homes in Oldham County for over 20 years, 25 years. And I'm building a 2,200 square foot all brick ranch on 4990 Bennett Lane. And my intent would be to build a home in the next few months, start a home if this was to get approved of the same caliber. Um, it would be a walkout all brick ranch. And then the property wouldn't get divided down any smaller. And uh, that's pretty much uh, the value of the home and the surrounding homes um, would be in conjunction. I would be building and selling a house somewhere in the 375 to 400,000 range. And uh, so I'm here to voice my support. Thank you, sir. With that, is there anyone else that, uh, here would like to speak in support of this application? All right. Uh, what about uh, anyone that wants to testify or have questions opposing the application? Anyone here to oppose the application? Okay, don't see anyone. All right, uh, commissioners, questions for the applicant? Do we have any questions? Okay. See no hands going up, so uh, uh, let's see. Final statement, Mr. Finley. Anything that you'd like to <coughs> close with? No, I just um, I really come kind of an uh, order person. I really just would like, as opposed to waiting five years for this, to have it done now so that I could have the border of the farm to be that that creek, um, just so that it looks uniform along the northern border of the of the farm. 
and uh, and that does require require that that waiver. Um, I'm not trying to create a precedent here in terms of I understand that two minor plats are allowed within a five year period. I have no in indication or desire to uh, to create any more minor plats um, with respect to this area back here. Um, we're going to continue to use utilize the rest of the farm for agricultural purposes back here. Um, but I think it would be nice to have all the homes be built at the around the same time and to be of the same character. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Stewart, anything you want to, as far as, as, far as a final statement? Okay. Yes, ma'am, I see your hand up. Okay, come on forward. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, I do. And just name and address, please. I am Wendy Gladfelder. I live at 5200 Bennett Lane. Could you spell your last name, please? G L A D F E L T E R. Okay. Now, at the beginning, you were saying how he's only authorized to build three properties within five years. Is that correct or no? Mr. Urban, if he you sells the rest of that, that property. Well, you have, it, it's related. It's not. Excuse me, it's not necessarily related to building, it's sell-offs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because when I moved out there, I was wanting to be by myself. <laughs> and I just don't want to have a whole big development within that area. And I was just wondering how, how quick he could build that up if he sold it. Well, in this case, it would only be one more lot other than what he was allowed to do. That's what he's asking. Okay. And that would be on that section of Bennett Lane that's uh, beyond Finley uh, Road. They would always have the option to come in for a full-blown subdivision if they wanted to develop any portion of the rest of the farm. I think he testified that, they, you know, they intend to farm that. Right. But if they did, if something changed or whatever, they would have to come to the Planning Commission and ask for a full subdivision uh, development plan proposal or whatever on a portion or all of the 825 acres or whatever. Okay, because when I first got the notice, I saw the 825 acres. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, my Lord. It's, <laughs> it's yeah, going to be a huge subdivision. Right. Okay. But, okay, that's it. Thank you. All right. Okay, um, we're, we kind of got a little bit out of order, but uh, um, Mr. Finley, anything else that you want to add to that? Or Okay. All right. Uh, with that, I guess uh, docket PZ17014. Uh, is closed, and I'll ask Mr. Urban to outline uh, what's being requested here. Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's permission to uh, have a sell-off within that five-year period, and there are no binding elements or conditions to be placed upon it. Okay. You've heard the outline from Mr. Urban. Uh, commissioners, I'll ask uh, again if uh, somebody want to do a motion on docket PZ17014. Mr. King? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll move for approval of the uh, uh, minor plat uh, um, as requested. Uh, based on um, testimony and evidence presented, I find or perceive no circumvention of the regulations. Otherwise, find the, uh, the proposal <laughs> consistent with comprehensive plan and the subdivision regulations. Mr. Holmes, adequate? Is that adequate? <clears throat> All right, I have a second. Okay, Ms. Albertson seconds. Any discussion? On the motion to approve docket PZ17014, the minor subdivision plat on approximately, no, that's not correct. <laughs> uh, uh, it says, uh, yeah, it's not there. <laughs> right. It's not on 825 acres, so <laughs> we're good. <laughs> not part of my motion. Right, I understand. All right, any further discussion? All right. Uh, Ms. Fox, if you would take the vote, and this is a motion to approve. Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Klingfus? Yes. Mr. Mesker? Yes. Mr. McWilliams? Yes. Ms. Smith? Yes. Ms. Albertson? Yes. Dr. Arvin? Mr. Finney? Yes. Mr. Douglas? Yes. Mr. Horton? Yes. Mr. Neal? Yes. <coughs> All right, uh, the motion to approve the uh, minor subdivision plat on docket PZ17014 has been approved on a vote of 10 to 0. All right, Ms. Alvey, I think we're down to the last docketed item of the day. And I'm on a throat lozenge. <laughs> well, I've got some more. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, we'll, uh, um, Ms. Fox, if you would read the last docket item, please. PZ17-015, application has been filed by Gina Miller 
for approval of waivers from section 280-150 item 3 parking lot layout and design the property is located at 47 46 old lagrange road buckner the zoning is i1 excuse me i2 heavy industrial district all right miss alvey if you want to present the docket please Absolutely. Last one of the day. This is an application for a parking surface waiver uh, for property located um, on Old LaGrange Road. For some reason, I didn't include the address. 4746 Old LaGrange Road. The property is approximately 5.855 acres. Mm -hmm. This is an aerial view of the property. Um, you can see this is I-71 that runs along, we'll call it the southeast. And then to the west is Old LaGrange Road. Um, as well as CSX and then obviously 146 on the other side of CSX. This is an area view that shows the existing drives and structures. Again, this is from 2012, so some of these structures could be um, still in place, some could have already been removed. Uh, the applicant is proposing to construct a 9,600 square foot office warehouse on the 5.85 acres. The proper the property currently has a single family residence, a barn, and mobile home located on it. The mobile home will be removed from the property. Um, so this is a zoomed out version of the um, site plan. Again, the location of um, Interstate 71 and then um, Old LaGrange Road to your right. This is a zoomed in version of the site plan that shows uh, the green block there. That is the existing mobile home that is located on the property that will be removed. There is two residences on this one property that is zoned industrial um, which at the time that all of this was done we had tiered zoning so anything that was allowed in a lower uh, zoning classification was permitted in the upper ones um, but again we no longer have tiered zoning so the green mobile home will be removed the red square is the proposed 9,600 square foot office warehouse the two purple um, items there at the bottom bottom that is the existing house um, an existing barn or building that will remain on the property. Uh, the plan outlines an office warehouse with a concrete ramp and covered loading dock located at the rear of the building. So at the rear of the property, or at the rear of the building, uh, you'll see a proposed concrete ramp and um, covered loading dock. Highlighted there in the gray. Uh, the applicant is requesting a waiver of section 280-150, section three, parking layout parking lot layout and design which requires all off-street parking areas shall be kept in a dust-free uh, conditions at all times this section also requires the parking areas for non-residential uses that are located between the public street and the principal building on the parcel to be paved the applicant's site plan proposes to use crushed stone for all parking and driving areas so this is uh, the site plan everything that is in the hashed gray area will be the crushed stone highlighted there in the blue circle. That is the area that um, they're also asking a waiver from for the crushed stone. Um, that is requ also a requirement for it to be paved from the front of the building to the, to the road right away. The other items there uh, highlighted in green, that is the um, grassy areas and the um, ILAs um, required for the landscaping. Um, so this is looking at, at the south view along Old LaGrange Road. This is going towards, uh, we'll call it going towards Crestwood, going towards the interstate there. Uh, this is the adjoining property owner to the south. It is a small vacant lot. And then this is the other adjoining property owner to the south that kind of wraps around that small vacant lot. It is an industrial building as well. It does have some paved area, but the majority of it is gravel and all of it around the rear is gravel as well. Uh, this is the north view going back in towards Buckner. Um, you can see, kind of give you an idea, there's the subway um, sign there. Uh, this is the north adjoining property owner. This is a storage building here, and then it also, um, right next door to it, that is an auto repair shop and um, a salvage yard. Uh, this is the east view looking across from the single family home driveway that is located on the property. Um, which is directly across from like Key Homes, um, right there on um, Fox Run. This is a single family home that will remain on the property. And this is a picture of the mobile home um, that will be removed. 
Uh, the applicant has stated that by using crushed stone, it would allow those funds to be put towards the building and business and that the surrounding businesses have crushed stone parking areas and have had no issues. Um, as again, that is stated in the applicant's justi justification statement. Uh, the current plan meets all other zoning regulations such as setbacks, lot coverage, parking space requirements, impervious surface and floor area ratio. So in summary, the applicant is requesting approval of a waiver from section 250-150 item three parking lot layout and design on approximately 5.855 acres. That is all that I have. I'll be happy to answer any questions. All right, Ms. Alvey, thank you. Commissioners, any questions for staff? I've gotten a lot quieter here late in the, in the <laughs> afternoon, so <clears throat> any questions? <coughs> All right, uh, seeing none, I'll uh, at this point call on the uh, applicant to come forward and get you sworn in. And, and as chairman, I'd like to apologize for 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's been a long okay. day. Do you remember but, what uh, your presentation Welcome to the planning commission. I don't even think I need Fox? Okay, I you pretty don't need much it. repeated what you said. Okay. Okay. All right. So. All right. You sworn in? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Just name an address for the record. Gina please. Miller, 13605 Rutland Road, Goshen, Kentucky. I really don't have much to add besides what's already been stated, so we don't have to continue to move on. If y'all have any questions for me, okay. I can answer. All righty. Um, that's fine. What uh, what type of business do you have? Or what, what's the we building? We have a what? small manufacturing business. Oh, okay. So that's all right. Um, sales in and, in and out of it at all. All right. I don't see anyone else left in the audience, so we're probably down to uh, questioning of the applicant by the commissioners. So, uh, commissioners, yes, sir, Mr. Douglas. Just wanted, you Turn your mic on, please. You currently own the property now, and you and this is an existing warehouse that's already there. Or are you going to build a new one? We're going to build that warehouse there okay. um, and take down the mobile home and probably use. The house, it's empty right now, so we'll probably use it for some office space or something. I'm not real sure. Okay, thank you. All right, additional questions for the applicant? Okay, don't see any uh, more. Do you have a final statement that you'd like to make uh, to the commission? Okay. All right, with, uh, with that, uh, we'll say the docket PZ17015 is now closed. And I'll ask Mr. Urban for about the 10th time today to outline what's being re asked, requested here. As you've also seen today, this is a uh, request for a waiver from Parking Services Section 210015, and there's a lot of other numbers out here, but it's uh, item number three, Parking Services. Surfacing and maintenance, all off-street parking areas shall be kept in a dust-free condition at all times. Parking areas of non-residential uses that are located between a public street and principal building on the parcel shall be paved. Um, the only binding elements related to this, should you choose to approve it, are, are that the uh, waiver shall only apply to the plan reviewed at this meeting on April 25th, 2017, and the development plan must comply with all established federal, state, and county ordinances and requirements at time of approval. All right. Commissioners, you've heard the outline from Mr. Urban. Uh, what's the pleasure? Motion. Uh, Mr. King? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to move for approval as noted. Um, findings include the um, uh, unique uh, situation of the, the property where its uh, neighbors are the railroad, the interstate, and other parcels to which this uh, requirement have not been applied. Uh, we would um, uh, impose a hardship by um, requiring this applicant to um, uh, uh, install paving where the others have not. And in addition, there appear to be no beneficiaries from uh, uh, imposing the requirement. Mr. Combs? That's appropriate. Okay, appropriate motion. Do we have a second? Mr. Mesker seconds. All right, any discussion on the motion to approve the Waiver on section 280.150 on docket PZ17015. Okay, seeing none, uh, Ms. Fox, let's go ahead and do the vote then. Ms. Albertson? Yes. Mr. Finney? Yes. Mr. Douglas? Yes. Mr. Horton? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Mr. Klingenfuss? Yes. 
Mr. Mesker? Yes. Mr. McWilliams? Yes. Ms. Smith? Yes. Mr. Neal? Yes. All right, the waiver request on docket PZ17015 has been approved on a vote of 10 to 0. Thank you, Ms. Miller. And uh, with that, uh, before, we, before we adjourn here, I just ask Ms. Alvey, uh, next month, looks like we will have. We most likely will have a zoning map amendment um, that will come before us. So we will have a meeting. Uh, filing deadlines are tomorrow. So I'll send out an email Thursday or Friday to let you know to confirm that yes or no, we will have a meeting. Remind everyone, uh, the next David Pike training is in May. It is in May. Kipta has not sent me the final agenda or anything of that nature as soon as i get anything from felicia um, harper from kipta i will forward that on to everyone and you That's can in let J -Town. me know. yes it'll be in kipta over in jaytown uh, off of blank and baker so and you know what the date is i want to say may 5th or may 11th but i don't i could totally be making that up at this point but okay mid-may mid-may okay it's after, it's after derby yeah okay i want to say it's like the 11th but i'm not certain all righty thank thank you all it's been a long day i think you know Really? Four o'clock, so no, you don't want to we will stand this? adjourned. You don't want to get this hot job. Well, Douglas didn't ask a question about <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Which I think Put yours in the wall. Oh, presentation. Oh, boy. Jesus Christ.